it's time to put in the trim insert the vinyl plastic screw covering one thing I have learned from watching videos on YouTube is to start with some sticking out that way when it shrinks up over the next couple days because it stretches as you put it in you just naturally stretch it a little bit as you install it and I have about 33 feet 33 feet 4 inches I think and over that distance it's going to shrink back up a little bit so I have some sticking out over the end here and I'm gonna give it a couple or three days and then uh, trim it up and put the tape over it and I will do the same thing at the other end you can see the end of it the way the end of it is shaped and it goes in real easily I did some checking did some measuring the inside channel the farthest distance in there was about seven eighths of an inch so I ordered the trim insert that was one inch the actual measurements I think of it are like one inch and one tenth or something like that but whatever size you have you just go the next size larger you don't go huge I wouldn't be able to put in like one and a quarter in here I don't know what the sizes of the trim inserts are but it's going in fairly easily I would have a screen spline tool that I was planning on using for this for right now as you can see I'm just kinda of tucking it in with my fingers and it's going in fairly easily not too easily one-handed but because I use you one hand to this hand to kind of pull it down and then the other hand to tuck it in and it it goes in fairly quickly fairly easily it comes in a great big spool I got a hundred foot spool of it you can see it comes in a big roll and I put it in this bag it comes shrink wrapped I'm thinking oh that's just great if that falls down or if I drop that of course it's still gonna be a pain in the butt but just to be precautious I put it in a Walmart bag so hopefully if it falls it will stay in the bag and it won't go flopping all over creation time will tell if I'm gonna give this a couple days to shrink up I better get to work because I have a ways to go as I put the trim insert in I tried to make sure as I was as I was laying it out this way I had the extra and then I always I tried to push it back with my one hand push it back just a little bit and then tuck it in with the screen spline tool I ended up using the screen spline tool and then a couple times I would have it installed up to here and it'd be hanging loose and I would go up two or three feet lay it out however far it would be tuck it in the bottom in the channel and then slide it back just a little bit slide it back just a half inch or so and then work my way back to where I had been here to try to put a little extra slack in the line as I as I went down the line because I do not want it looking like this this is the trim on the bottom of the slide out and as you can see this side has shrunk up three inches or more and this side about four inches and that's only about six feet of insert it shrunk up that much oh but it just broke off or something happened you say no look notice the angle here obviously that angle was for this angle here perhaps it broke perhaps something happened perhaps the previous owner made some cuts for whatever reason I doubt it this is just super fast sloppy installation from the manufacturer slap it in there get it done and move along now since it is real long 33 feet plus I decided to add a little loop a little bit extra hanging off right about in the middle of the wall right about the midpoint between front and back it'll be interesting to see how much of that slack is taken up as that vinyl insert shrinks back obviously I'm hoping it shrinks back some otherwise I might have a weird gap in the middle well it's the middle of the day and the second day after putting on this trim insert and this is where the extra loop that I had kinda of hanging out was it took a little twisting it around and you can see that it's still a little wavy here because of the excess but it's uh, went in fairly easily good good I have about three and a quarter inches extra at the time I finished 
Left front is at about three and a quarter on the side, a little under three and a quarter. On the right front, I have about one and seven eighths extra sticking out of the front. Right front side, I have about an inch and a quarter, a little more. The left rear, right about three and five sixteenths, three and three eighths, right in there. On the front cap piece, I have about two and three quarters inches extra sticking down. The left front top piece, that about two and seven eighths. And on the right front, on the front cap trim insert, we have just under two inches, right at about two inches of excess sticking out. And on the right front trim piece, about an inch and a half.